Hey, 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 hey. How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. Ah, got a DVD set this time. This is the gifted, complete first season. And this was a two-season wonder show on Fox. It is connected to the X-Men Cinematic Universe. I don't know if it's going to be connected to the MCU proper now that the X-Men are being moved over that or not. But this is one of those where I don't... I've watched this entire first season now, and I don't... Unless the second season just got really bad, I don't see why this got canceled. Because ratings were my understanding, fairly good on this first season. Now, it probably was not a cheap show to make. That's probably part of it. The ratings were not high enough to make it for how expensive the show was made. We'll get into it a little quick. This is the family here. Father... Two kids, mother. Mother's a woman that played Amy Acker. She was on like Angels, most stuff. I've never, I, I didn't watch enough Angels to really identify her. The daughter, the only thing I really recognized her from was she was on the Goldbergs for the first couple seasons. She was uh, Adam Goldberg's girlfriend. I can't remember her name now. The son, I never seen anything else. And these two are basically, if you know your Marvel Comics history, they're the Fenris twins. They have the powers the Fenris twins had. But they, I liked about this, they use. Characters you didn't see in other stuff, like they use Warpath. Yeah. Who remembers Warpath from the X Force? Yeah, you know, they used uh, Polaris. Was Polaris? Yeah, Polaris was in here. Uh, Blink. And it said sometime after the third X Men movie, which was what last Sam, there's something knows the mutants are kind of outlawed. And what ended up happening is that. Somebody finds out these two kids have powers and they're being chased down. So them and the mother, in this first season, the father ends up joining up, go up with the mutant underground and trying to rescue means and capture. Polaris is one of them. All right, let's see here. Three days that includes all 12 first season episodes. The gift that tells the emotional story of a suburban couple whose ordinary lives are wrought by the sudden discovery that their children possess mutant powers. Forced to go on a run from a hostile government, the family seeks help from underground network and mutants must fight to survive. Set within the X-Men universe, the series stars... Series stars Stephen Moore, Amy Acker, Natalie Allen Lind, and Percy Hines White as the Strucker family. Oh, I forgot they're the Struckers. Oh, shit. Yeah, well, that makes sense. The Fenders twins were Struckers. Okay, yeah. Also featured in the series are Sean Teal as Eclipse slash Marcos the Cop Diaz, Jamie Chung as Blink slash Clarence Fong, Clarice Fong, Emma Dumont as Polaris slash Lorna Dane. Blair Redford is Thunderbird slash John Proud starring Kobe Bell Sentinel Service Agents Jace Thunk Turner. I have not found season two yet. Let's see, it's just three this. Now these were an hour each. So you get four episodes per this. You know, if you look at the titles, each one of them they have like an X in they I like the X. Not a bad little show. It's one of those where if it'd been on a different channel, like this had been on like CW, you know the budget would have been lower. It'd probably still be on there because I'm sure this is getting better ratings than, you know, what was it? I don't see the Batwoman and Stargirl and, you know, their DC stuff, which I tried watching that. I watched the first two seasons of Arrow and I just went into I'll, I'll, I'll give them this. I enjoyed the first season of Flash. It was really good. And the second season just was horrible and I gave up. And part of that is, is uh, Daniel Panabaker. Cannot act. Oh, God. She has two facial expressions she uses constantly. One of them is, oops, I just crapped my pants. The other one is, oops, I just pissed my pants. And I don't get it because when she was a young kid, she was in a bunch of stuff. She was actually fairly good and stuff. Like, I remember her in, um, You're Hot. That's what made this work. Both these, well, she was probably about late teens. He was probably about close to the same age. Both these things were really good in this. And, my, and nobody else really in the cast are like uh, the girl that played <coughs> Polaris. What is it? Emma Dumont. I didn't recognize her from anything else at all. But look at her up. She did a lot of stuff. And I remember here for a while there, she was one of the ones that were talked to about maybe making Razor. If you don't know what Razor is, just go look around this channel. I've done a lot of stuff on the Razor comic. Until a movie, she was the one to play Razor. She's got the right, she has the right look for Razor. Jamie Chung, who. I want to say, I, I, did she did she or did she not play Mio, Miho in the second Sin City movie? She's done some stuff I've seen her. I just can't think of it right now. Oh, she's in uh, the Shorty Road remake, which was actually pretty good. She was good as uh, Blink. The guy that got to play was a... Blair Redwood is 
Thunder, uh, Warpath. Did they call him Thunderbird in this? Oh, they do call him Thunderbird. Oops, sorry. He's Thunderbird too, but really well on his part. Everybody is well cast. It was a fun show. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I have not looked into to see if season two ends on like a cliffhanger. It probably does. It's a bad thing about these hour-long dramas. A lot of times you get an ending that doesn't resolve shit because they think they're going to get another season, but I enjoyed the hell out of this. This is on, or it was on Hulu. I've not looked in a while to see if it's still on there because I was going to watch it on there and then one day I was in town and found this set for like 10 bucks. I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab this because you never know when shit's going to disappear off of Hulu. And it, you know, it fits into my, I got part of my DVD shelf is DVDs that are comic stuff. It fits in perfect there. Because even though technically, I mean, it, it has all these kind of characters. There's no comic like this that I know of. Well done. Worth watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. All the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.